Brothers and sisters, it's been a few days since I've done one of these videos, but I trust that for those who are planning to coming out on the 24th, that you're as excited as I am to be able to come together again as a church family, to be able to um, pray together, to sing praises to God together, to attend to the ministry of God's Word together, and especially to receive the Lord's Supper together. And we've missed these things throughout the week, but really the highlight of the week is our Lord's Day service as we gather together on the Sabbath to celebrate our God together. And again, for most will be able to come back, but there'll be some because of, of uh, pre-existing conditions and risks, they're going to hold off for the time being. But for the rest of those who are coming, uh, I wonder, uh, what are your plans and your expectations as we come together as a church? In God's providence, we've been separated for a time uh, because of the COVID-19 lockdown, but, but here as a church, we're coming back together. And, and um, I just spoke to, uh, to uh, the pastor of another church today, and they'll be um, gathering together again in June. But but as the as churches are beginning to come back together, we we understand that what God is doing something when He brings the church together, and that God had a plan and a purpose um, in each of our hearts and in this particular church um, during the time that we've been apart, and He has a plan and a purpose for us as we come back together. I'm reminded of First Corinthians chapter twelve, which speaks uh, where Paul speaks a great deal about the church as a body. So I'm going to read just a few uh, verses from this passage, and then we'll discuss it. So. Uh, in in verse First uh, Corinthians chapter twelve, uh, beginning at verse four. Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are varieties of service, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who empowers them all and everyone. For each is given a manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. And so, just stop for a second and think about your role in the church. And I know many are thinking about this on a regular basis and praying about this, but but just stop and consider what is your role. And as we come back together in the church, think about the fact that God has put you in this church for a purpose. Yes, it's to be to be fed and to grow in Christ likeness, but it's also to serve in the church. And we've seen many um, doing that and growing in that. And would would really encourage each one of us to um, be asking the Lord, what is it you want me to do, Lord? Um, going on from there, um, verse 12. For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the body members of the body, though many are one body, so it is with Christ. Um, the, verse 14, for the body does not consist of one member, but of many. And this is where Paul speaks about, about hands and feet and whatnot, and, and the different purposes and roles that each one have, and, and that, that um, each, each, each part of the body is vital, is a vital body part, and, and essential to the work of, this, of, of, the, of each local church. Um, and then verse 18, but God has, as it is, God has arranged the members of the body, each of them as he chose. And so here we see God's sovereignty in putting together local churches. And as we think about the application of this to our particular local church, to Providence Baptist Church, about what God has done in, in handpicking, according to his sovereign plan, handpicking each person who would be part of this church family. And so, again, I would, would really encourage and, and challenge each one of us to consider as we now, come back together is kind of a, of a hard reset in a sense where we've been apart now for two months. And nothing like that has happened ever in the history of, of this local church. But now we're coming back together again. And so it's a time to stop and, and to reevaluate it and, and to, to seek the Lord to determine your place and to see that God has placed you here for his plans and purposes. And, and again, we, we understand this is not just um, to be um, to be served, but to serve, and, and that each one of us, that you as a person, as an individual, have been given gifts to serve the body. Um, and going on from there, uh, he says, again, talking about there's there's not body parts that, that we um, we value them all, um, but this is so there's to be divi no division in the body, but there's, um, but verse 25, that there may be no division in the body, but that the members may have the same care for one another. And so if one member suffers, all suffer together. If one member is honored, all rejoice together. And, and so it's realizing here that they're really on the same team. And so it's understanding that, that, um, that what happens to, to somebody else in our local church, and, and I think this is an application of this uh, for brothers and sisters around the world as well, but, but thinking, I think Paul is focusing here on the local church, um, that our love and our care for each other extends so that that we're conscious of of the needs and concerns of others, and and so that we're we're seeking opportunities to to reach out 
in love um, to, to those who are hurting. Um, and we're, we're lifting their needs up to the Lord in prayer. And, 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 and we, we need to be seeking opportunities to, to, to um, come alongside them. And, it, and I think in many respects, that's easier uh, when we're actually physically in the same place. It's easier to, when we're meeting it, it's, it's I guess, in one sense, more natural um, for us to be able to go to a person when we see them on a Sunday. It may be a little bit more difficult to pick up the phone or um, to contact them. But but again, to be intentionally doing this and aware of we've, we've not been able to meet like this for two months. And now we're coming back together again. And, and likewise, um, when, um, when, so, when someone's honored in the church and, and encounters even, even whether it's even in the, in the world, if they um, or get a promotion at work or, or something really positive happens in their, in their life, this is an opportunity. We, again, we're not threatened by that. We rejoice over the fact that something good is happening to somebody else in the body. We praise God for that. And, and so again, I think as we think about the fact that we've been apart now for two months, as we come back together, this is an opportunity to, to stop and think and to um, evaluate and to consider um, each for each of us, our individual um, role uh, that, that God has given us in the church. Would you pray that with me? Would you ask the Lord to um, to reveal that to you, um, how how he would have you serve in this church? And and again, many are serving already, um, but but in following Christ, um, who who came um, not to be served, but to serve. So will you join me in following um, in his footsteps and, and serving in the local church? for his glory and seeking opportunities um, to, to, again, follow in his footsteps by loving each other and, and so fulfilling the law of Christ.